now. Hey everybody, welcome to Studio oh, 4. Today is National Greasy Foods Day, which I celebrate every day. <laughs> Do you? What's your I favorite? Like you have french fries. Oh no, cheeseburger. Okay, all right, cheeseburger. You, you're, you're all about the french fry. I love the french fry. You like the waffle fries? No. Just you like just the plain. the plain fry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I love greasy food. And pizza. So good. You pizza. consider pizza is a greasy food. Yeah. yeah it's Do you have to greasy. blot it? Do you blot <laughs> yeah. it? Are you um, amongst, the, are amongst uh, the population of people that blot? No, everybody pizza? in my family, though, even my oh. girls blot their pizza. Just, I, if just it is it. overly, like, then, then I'll blot it. But I never blot in public. No. So blotting that's public is, yeah. I think you that's should, wise. You, you should never blot, blot in public. Yeah. Okay, the pumpkin spice latte has some new seasonal competition at Starbucks. Today, the company unleashed its newest concoction. This one is called the Witch's Brew Frappuccino. Here okay? you go. Take a look the company at that. bills it as the perfect blend of toad's breath, bat warts, and lizard scales. The toad's breath tastes like swirl orange cream. Bat warts are chia seeds, and the lizard scale is green powder atop the vanilla whipped cream. Starbucks is also selling mummy cake pops and raccoon sugar cookies during mm. the run up to Halloween. Are I we love ready? a good raccoon sugar cookie. Are we taking a drink? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's not good at all. No, 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 no. Mm, there are some chia seeds in there. But I do love a chia seed. It has a very weird flavor, right? I can see how it kind of tastes like the orange. An orange sickle. I don't like that, but I like chia seeds. They should put more chia seeds in all of their stuff. Oh, they're there. They're there. I know. Really? You like chia seeds that much? You know, they're really helpful. Who knew? Hey, helpful. Um, did you guys see this? A uh, robber <coughs> caught on surveillance video. <laughs> like, so. Me. I mean, you okay? Yeah, continue. We need to get you. Don't mind me. <laughs> Nothing to see. Okay, so, uh, so apparently, this video uh, from Europe. The, this robber looks just like David Swimmer. Take it does look like David himself, Swimmer, though. He, the actor himself, thought it looked so much like him, he needed an alibi. Bring up the video here. The robbery took place last How month. How is that not David Swimmer? In the British city of Blackpool, and city police posted an image of the suspect. <laughs> <laughs> so immediately, people noticed the suspect's striking resemblance to the character Ross from the show Friends. Okay? So this <laughs> is... Oh, he made a video. That's David Swimmer. Yeah. That's the real guy. All right. It got the attention uh, of, of David Swimmer. He thought it was <laughs> <laughs> so good. So he actually does a little little parody video, uh -huh. and he sends that on, and he says, I was in New York. It wasn't me. Uh -huh. And so... That's funny. Yeah. You know who else he looks like? Who's that guy that was on the piano? Do you remember? Or the pianist? Do you remember that show? Adrian Brody. Oh, yeah. It looks like Adrian Brody, right? Yeah, I can see that. I never thought that the two of them look alike, but they kind of do now. Well, there you go. Mm. I'm glad we have expert people in our studio to answer our questions. Okay, a new study examines our online shopping habits. Turns out one-click shopping might be making it a little too easy to buy things that we don't I, need. It does Hello, for me. obviously. I, yeah. Nearly three in ten Americans have made an impulse purchase online in the past month. According to CreditCards.com, almost half made an impulse buy in the past three months. Those unnecessary purchases can certainly bust a budget. And the biggest impulse spenders are older millennials. About 62% of shoppers typically pay with credit versus 32% who prefer debit, experts say credit is a better choice in the event card information is stolen. What's the weirdest thing you've ever bought on an impulse? Is there something weird? Well, according to you, I should not have bought uh, two uh, racket bags uh, from the eBay recently. Um, well, I, I should have gotten the info that that was. But not I the give right. you. Let me just say this: I give you all this advice, and you don't follow any of my advice anyway. So well, it doesn't I matter. Typically, uh, well, it, it's considered. <laughs> and if you would have told me, Andy, you're, you're going to look like a dork if you walk in with your bag. With your little a, tiny little zipper bag. So now um, we are selling. Uh, Michelle and I are now selling two uh, <laughs> tennis racket bags. Um, uh, <laughs> what's the brand? I don't even know what the brand uh, is. Babylon. Yeah, whatever that means. So there you go. And by the way, most people have like Google, they can ask things. We keep Jason Crespin in the studio just so that way we can say, hey, Crespin. And then he gives us the answer. Uh -huh. Coming yeah. up on the show today, an unusual plant is.